Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to give you an introduction into compositing in Vegas Pro. I was inspired to do this because I felt like the help documentation wasn't accurate. And if you come into Vegas Pro and you go to contents and index, you can search for whatever you want to look up. But they have a section here on 2D compositing. And if we go click into it, it has this section here. And I can make this bigger. And it says learn about parent and child tracks and it gives this example and I think this is a terrible example of compositing and let's just look at it real quick so it says in this first example there are three tracks track one contains a mask the circular region is transparent so it shows through to the second track here and the third track is also a child so it's talking about child tracks here that you can see through to it too Right. The only reason we can see through to the, this level is because the opacity is reduced on the second layer. So the bottom line is this. The key concept to understand is that you cannot see through opaque material. An opaque layer is like bedrock. You can't get through it. You can't see through it. The buck stops with an opaque layer. There's no seeing through an opaque layer, which leads me to why I think this is a bad example, because here they say, if you change this from a child to a parent track, all of a sudden you'll be able to see through to the third layer. That's impossible, because you can't see through an opaque layer. The only way we could see through this is if they reduce the opacity here, but it doesn't show that the opacity is reduced, and it shows that you're seeing through. That's not possible. So they had to have reduced the opacity, but they didn't reduce it here. So this is just a bad example. So let me, how can you see through an opaque layer unless the opacity is reduced? You can't, <laughs> see, no matter whether it's a child, a parent, a cousin, sister, mother, brother, it doesn't matter what it is, you're not seeing through an opaque layer. That's the bedrock, that's where the buck stops. I can give you one more example here. If you come over here, think of it this way. An opaque top layer will block, will block every layer beneath it unless its opacity is reduced. So here's, if this is the top layer and it's opaque, you're not seeing through anything. But with transparencies or alpha channels, all the layers beneath will be seen regardless of whether they're a child or a parent or whatever. So if there's a mask here, a transparency, then we can see through to this layer. But if there's no mask on this layer, then we're not gonna see through to this layer. But if there's a mask here or the opacity is reduced, then we can see this layer. So let me jump into Vegas and give you some examples of this. So what I've got here is I've got three layers uh, green, yellow, and red. And if I click here, you can see I've got a mask in the middle, right? So all of these channels are at 100 degrees opacity. So the only reason we're able to see the second layer is because there's a transparency right here in the middle of this mask. So we can see through to the second. We don't see this layer. The only way we can see this layer is if we reduce the opacity on the second layer. And now we can start seeing the red. But that's but we're actually actually seeing everything, right? I mean, we're seeing if I if I bring the opacity down 100%, I can see the whole red completely, right? If I reduce the opacity, I got that back up. It's hard to grab that. If I reduce the opacity on this track, the top track, then we can see this track completely. So that's why I'm saying from that example, with this green here, we're not seeing any. We're not going to see anything. If I come here and I make this a compositing child of this track, we're still not going to see this layer. And I can make this layer a child too. We're still not going to see. We're never going to see. <laughs> we're never going to see anything beneath this layer because it's opaque. The only way we would see is if we reduce the opacity on it. And then we can start seeing through beneath it. But we're only going to see through to what's underneath it. And if it's opaque, we're not seeing beneath this unless we reduce this. Right. So let me give you one more example to try to make this clear. So what I have here, let me restore these back just to regular parenting examples. And it's on a transparency background, right? So now I can bring another one in. Let me click over here. Now this can be confusing in Vegas because in Vegas, the black, the default background, black is also transparent. Here you can see it's transparent, but here it looks like there's nothing there, right? We're seeing through from here to here, right? I can bring another one down, and if I move it, what you may not realize about Vegas is that it can see down through an infinite number of layers, 
as long as there's transparency to see through. But if I bring, like let's say I bring a solid color now, this will be an opaque layer coming in. That's where it stops. Now we can't see anymore. So I can bring more stuff down underneath it, but we're not going to be able to see it because the opaque layer is blocking it. So I hope this sheds some light on it. Bottom line is this. With Vegas Pro, you actually have an unlimited number of layers that you can layer down all seen through. There's no limit on the number of transparencies. And it doesn't really matter the parent-child status. As long as it's an, a transparency layer, you can you could put logo here, a logo here, a logo here, a logo here, and do all kinds of really cool designs. And then eventually stop it with your bottom, your final bottom layer, whatever that turns out to be. And so there's so many possibilities with creative layering of things and masks and all kinds of things so anyway but and if you have an, an, an opaque layer any layer can be reduced in opacity and masks can be drawn on any layer too to let transparencies through so anyway I just wanted to clarify that with regard to the information that's in the help page because I found it to be less than clear so anyway take care have a great day and I'll talk to you next time